right, everybody, how you doing this morning? So we're up at Goliath now. We've got it pulled out of its hole and we are just getting it all prepped and ready for the trip to Daytona. So for those of you that are somewhat new to the channel and don't know the entire history, you've just seen some of the trucking stuff as Talon and I get the, uh, the North American truck, which is right there behind me, ready for the road and starting our trucking business. My primary business is motorcycle repair. Um, but we don't have a brick and mortar store anywhere. We use this truck, Goliath, and the Big Stacker Trailer. We travel around to the motorcycle rallies across the United States and we perform work there. And when I first decided to start a YouTube channel, it was really just to chronicle our travels as a vendor for motorcycle rallies because we go to one after the next after the next. Um, <clears throat> it was never really intended to be. specifically for a trucking channel. Um, but we had always talked about starting a trucking business, so that's what we decided to do. And as of right now, there has been very little motorcycle rally content on this channel because I started it Thanksgiving weekend of 2020. And our season for 2020 had already shut down. Not that there was much of a season. Corona really had us all messed up that last year. So bike week is only a week away and it's the kickoff to our 2021 season. So you're gonna start seeing a lot more footage for the motorcycle rally specifically and our travels and, and what it's like to be a traveling vendor for motorcycle rallies. Yeah, there's still trucking involved because we still drive Goliath, which is what I drove before I ever got into an actual semi truck and was a commercial driver. I've been driving Goliath for a couple of years now and before that I had zero big truck training. Um, I knew someone who knew how to drive truck and he went with me to, to buy the thing and kind of taught me how to drive it and then bailed on me. And uh, I had to learn the rest on my own as we went, just use some common sense and did the best I could. And I found out that I really, really loved driving the big truck. It's a lot of fun. So uh, when my son said, I want to start a trucking business, I want to get my CDL, I don't want to work for anybody else. I was like, well, let's do it. So anyway, that just kind of explains some of the content you've seen at this point. That's why you see mostly trucking because we've been in the motorcycle off season. At this point, you're most likely gonna see us bouncing back from one to the other. So I hope those of you that are here also like motorcycle content. Uh, if you don't, I'm sorry, but uh, that's what there's gonna be. It's gonna be a lot of both as we grow this trucking business and we continue on with our motorcycles. Hopefully it's exciting both ways. All right, so right now Talon's going through and checking all the air pressures, getting them all up to par. I've already checked all the oil and the belts and the coolant and all that stuff is in really good shape. We're also charging these batteries. These are the house batteries. So they just run the things inside the, uh, the RV part of it, but they were a little low from sitting most of the winter and they hadn't been used since November. So we're just kind of getting them charged up. So right now, I've got this plugged into just a generator that's back here. And then the truck batteries are right there. Now normally there are four of those. However, one of them failed a load test. So I decided to throw three in there and see if the truck will still start. And it actually fired up without a problem. No issues there. So uh, I still need to buy a new set of batteries for it. All those batteries are about four years old. There's the little generator right there. Right now, all it's doing is charging the batteries on the house. So we're still gonna check all the tire pressures back here and we're gonna jack, jack it up and check our bearings, make sure everything seems good. You know, Daytona is only about a 600 mile trip, but this truck has been sitting since August. <clears throat> Daytona is only about a 600 mile trip for us, but this truck and trailer have been sitting since October. So we just wanna go through it and make sure that Nothing has gone sour in the time that it has sat here. And then we got to finish loading it up. We got to get uh, my toolbox put back in here. We got to get the Harley put in here. Got to get the Mini Cooper put back there and just organize. You know, over the last couple of months, I've kind of come in and done a couple of small projects. And uh, so it just needs to be cleaned out. All right, so stick around and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of the video all right everyone we got everything loaded up and this is how it all fits in the trailer it's tight 
but uh, we can still get around everything and it travels well like this. So you get the Mini Cooper there to the back, the Harley and the snap-on box up front. I've still got a little bit of room here for the workspace. Now we're getting ready to roll out. It's a little later than we had planned on. It's actually just about midnight. We were hoping to be out of here a long time ago. But right now we're just really trying to get through Atlanta. And back up here so you guys see how this looks up lit up at night. Definitely needs more lights. Well, that's Goliath in the dark. Yeah, so we're gonna get on the road here. We're like two hours north of Atlanta, give or take, maybe two and a half. Sometimes in Goliath, obviously you can't travel as fast as you can in a car through the mountains. But our plan tonight is just to get through Atlanta and then get a couple hours sleep and then get up in the morning and finish the trip down to Daytona. Well, with it being dark, I don't know that we're gonna get much nice driving footage. If something nice looks good and I can film it, I'll add it. But if not, we'll consider this the close of the video. So I hope you guys like it. Please uh, hit the like button, share and subscribe, and please leave comments. If you guys have any questions or anything you find interesting, talk to me, let me know. Till the next time I see you, keep those engines running.